Rina. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to share with you our experiment making tacos al pastor. Let's jump to it. First, I'm gonna grab my meat. I use pork shoulder and I like to cut it to about a quarter inch thick. Now let's make the marinade. Combine a large onion, garlic clove, cumin powder, black pepper, oregano, dried chilies, and adobo sauce. And if you like more spicy, you can add chipotle peppers to give smoky taste and extra spicy. And then add seasoned seasoning and pineapple juice. Get everything together and blend it to make a nice thick paste. Before we add the marinade, add apple cider vinegar, salt, and taco seasoning. And then give a good massage. Then add the marinade paste little by little because we want all the meat covered. And then give another good massage and leave it at least 2 hours or overnight better. Since I'm making this for a party, to add variety, I added 3 pounds of boneless chicken, a mix of thigh and breast. I cut them thin just like so. The authentic taco al pastor comes with pineapple. So now let's get it ready. Okay, it's almost there. The authentic way is using a trompo, but since it's, it's homemade, we are going to use this one grill heavy duty rotisserie kit. Grab the spit and let the construction begin. You want to put a pineapple slice at the beginning, middle, and end of the spit because when you trim the meat, the blade of the knife doesn't hit the steel and it also will separate the pork and the chicken. Wow, look at that. It looks amazing, doesn't it? Good job there, hubby. <laughs> now it's time to grill. Prepare the grill by removing the grates before turning on the burner. Using this plastic bag method keeps your hand clean. Don't forget the tray to catch the drippings. Oops. I've got to put this on. Okay, so I'll have to take this off. Whoops, someone forgot the last speed rod fork. Now you need to balance the meat. Why? Because this is going to put less stress on the motor. Rotate to find the heavy side and then lock the counterweight in the opposite direction and make sure it spins nicely before inserting into the motor. Now the grill is ready. Grab your extension cord and switch on. Got it. Switch on. Mmm, my whole neighborhood smell wonderful. Cook initially on a low temperature to make sure the outside of the meat doesn't burn. Using meat thermometer, check every half hour until the outside meat is done. You ready? Mm-hmm. Alright, let's have a look. 
Wow. Check it out. Trim the outside meat and serve while the rest of the meat cooks. Okay, I'm now hungry. Let's eat. Get your favorite tortilla, flour or corn, add the meat and of course pineapple, salsa, guacamole, you gotta have onion, cilantro, and jalapeno. Yum! And that is how tacos al pastor is made.